I've been for my daily trip to Bunnings, got my coffee, and I got a Dura Floor sheet, uh, which is this thing. I forgot the film was putting it in, but it basically went straight in, no hassles, exactly touching the wall on this end and this end. It was like perfectly made for it and it's uh, 19 millimeters thick it's called Dura floor it's like a tongue and groove kind of floorboard but it's made from fiber cement That one I shot in because it's on masonry. That one I could uh, screw in with heavy duty screws because it's got studs behind it. And that will be the resting place for the bench top or the bench top substrate, whatever and uh, I thought that would be a good solid substrate for the countertop and a heat shield over the oven not that I think it's required but there's a heat shield there now and I had I had allowed for that 19 mil in my calculations I had intended putting uh, chip uh, plywood 19 mil plywood on there as a solid substrate but now I've got fiber cement and I'm happy with that and quite chuffed with the fact that I found a piece exactly the right size 2.7 meters long 600 wide quite heavy I had to I take two of us to carry it in here Rosie helped me I've got a three in one prep coat, which would probably be a good idea, and then I can use aqua enamel. Okay. Does it matter if that gets paint on it? No. Nope. Um, and I was thinking, uh, would that work better? Yeah, that would work better than trying to get a brush. Yeah, I'll use that. Well, she's going to paint the bottom of the wood to make sure it's water protected. two water pipes in behind that so I have to be careful. center of the window but that pushes the ball across a little bit too far although let me show you what I'm talking about the ball is coming over a little bit too far because it'll come down on this but that probably doesn't matter I could scoop this to allow it to do so. I'm just thinking out loud here, making it up as I go along. Because up here, aesthetically, I think it definitely has to be that the tap is in line with the center of the window. 
and there isn't a template so this is what it says place the sink where it's gonna live now will I put it exactly in the middle or will I pull it this way a little bit I think I would pull it this way a bit. Leave some space for soap bottles and stuff there. Plus, not reaching reaching into it. It's right there in front of you. Place the sink upside down in the position where it is to be installed and trace the outline the sink in the bench with a pencil. Now draw another line 10 mil inside the first line. I need a different blade that's struggling through fiberboard and chipboard load. Uh, so yeah I've got a different type of blade in there so I'll try that. The one I just took out is 6 TPI and it looks pretty knackered even though I only put it in there yesterday. This one is 10 TPI. That was a brand new blade and it looks knackered. In fact, it wouldn't even cut past there. Two inches. I got some more of the 6 TPI fast wood blades because they seem to last longer than the 10 TPI. Okay, it's the right blade, I reckon. Went through that, no problem at all. This here stalled because I hit the fence underneath and I think I also hit a screw in there as well. So I ruined that blade already. But that's because of the screw, not the wood, I think. So try again. That's as far as I can go with jigsaw.
Light the fingers. Now that that's done, I've got to do the same thing again when I put the stone on. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is enough progress to make a man happy at dinner time. 10 to 6. So, I'll see you later. Thanks for watching. Give me a thumbs up. You know the drill.